Hi guys, this is Pastor Davis again. Today is Friday, Good Friday before Easter. And what a great day it is. We want to thank the Lord for the salvation that he has given to us and what this day means. That it is the day that Jesus Christ died on the cross that we might have salvation. And what a beautiful day it is as well. And I know that you're probably at home and uh, we thank God that uh, he's given us homes to uh, be with family and I hope that you're having a great weekend. We look forward to the Easter celebration on Sunday. Uh, we are going to be having an Easter sunrise service at 630 and then a uh, service at 11. But tonight I, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, what Jesus did for us. You know the Bible gives us an account of the crucifixion of Jesus in the Gospel of Mark. And in Mark chapter 15 Listen to a couple of these verses. You know, this is when Jesus was brought before Pilate. Pilate had asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, Thou sayest it. And then, of course, it was the Passover, and this was the time where Pilate would release one person uh, to them because of the Passover. Hey, I'm going to be a good guy, and I'm going to release one of these prisoners to you all. Who will it be? And the only two that were in prison at the time was Barabbas, who was the thief or a, a, a murderer, a robber, an insurrectionist. And then, of course, there was Jesus, who was the Messiah. And the chief priests knew that that was coming. And so the chief priests who hated Jesus uh, motivated the crowd to cry unto Pilate that they wanted to be have Barabbas released and not Jesus. And as Jesus stood there before all of the crowd, and as they cried out, release Barabbas. And then they started to cry out, crucify him. Crucify him, the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you imagine what Jesus must have felt? He came into his own people and his own people received him not. He came to free them from their sin and the oppression. And yet they turned their back upon the Lord Jesus. They would have none of it. And so the scriptures say that as they cried out, crucify him, crucify him, Pilate said, what has he done wrong? And they cried out the more exceedingly in verse 14 of Mark 15, crucify him, crucify him. And so Pilate then led him out to be scourged and to be crucified. They plait a crown of thorns together and put it upon his head and beat it down upon his brow and he would bleed profusely. And then, of course, they scourged him. They put a purple robe on him and they mocked him. They got down on their knees and fake mocked, worshipped him. And then they laid him down on that old rugged cross and they drove those nails in his hands and in his feet. They picked up that cross and it landed with a thud in the hole in the ground and they crucified him. The Lord Jesus Christ, the innocent one, the Messiah, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the creator of the universe, who spoke the world into existence, now is being crucified by his own creation. And as Jesus hung on that cross, he said many things. We know that he thirsted at one point. But one of the other things the Bible says that he said, and that's recorded in Mark 15 as well, when the darkness was over all the land from the third hour to the sixth hour, the Bible says as it got dark and there was an eclipse of the sun, he cried out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And he simply asked the question, why have you forsaken me? And that's really the, the wonderful question that I ask you today as we think about Good Friday. We think about the crucifixion. Why? Was Jesus forsaken on the cross? Well, the Bible says that Jesus became sin, the one that knew no sin, that we might be made righteousness in him. He took our sin that we might be saved. When we trust Jesus Christ as our Savior in humble repentance and dependent faith, then we understand by our belief and by our faith that he saves us. What a wonderful day this is. But the Lord Jesus Christ would be crucified on that day. He would be buried. 
And then, of course, we understand that on Resurrection Sunday, the Lord Jesus Christ will rise again. We're looking forward to that. We will be celebrating that sunrise service at 630. Looking forward to that. We'll broadcast at 11, a sun, a, an Easter service. We hope that you can tune in. But we just want to thank God for all of His blessings in our salvation. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for all that you've done in our life and give us salvation in the Lord Jesus. And I thank you all for watching. God bless you. We love you. We miss you. We're praying for you. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.